Hello everyone, this is Todd with Nitality, and I just wanted to continue on our discussion of the steps of the food ladder found in my book, Off Food, Why Do You Trouble Me So Much? And today we're going to talk about step six. This is to eat foods that assist digestion, assimilation, elimination, and movement. And so the idea is you want to eat foods that help things move through you well so that you can break down the food, that you can get what you need out of it, and that you can pass it easily and without much of a struggle. Um, anyone who's had digestive issues, you might understand what I mean by this. You want to make sure that the foods that you're eating treat your body well and they don't cause any kind of cramping or extra gas, things like that. But you want to be able to break them down easily. And if you pay attention well, you'll start to see that you can find foods that work really well for you that don't necessarily work well for everyone around you or things that other people like a lot don't necessarily work well for you. So there's a lot of interesting things about this so that you can get the most out of the food that you eat. A lot of people like to eat food that doesn't necessarily treat them well. It might taste great, and this isn't about taste. This is just about how does your body deal with it. And what you want is something that tastes good to you and helps you um, digest well and assimilate, eliminate, and, and move well. This movement thing is also interesting, too, because some foods will make you feel bloated so that you don't want to move much after you eat it. So if it inhibits your motion, your ability to move around, your ability to walk or bend over, that's probably not a good sign. Also a sign that you're eating probably too much. And every once in a while that's fun to do, but you don't want to make a habit of it. Um, it tends to stretch out things um, in such a way that you want to keep eating more as well. So there's a time to do it, and then there's a time to maybe go a little lighter than you normally would. So you're leaving yourself just a little bit hungry, you're just a little bit wanting more. And that's a good thing to do at times too. And so ultimately you want food that helps you move and helps things pass through you well. You want to try to get the most out of all of that. Um, and then, like I said, thinking about foods that help you move well, that help you um, move around and get around and do whatever it is that you would normally do with your body. And if you're an athlete or you're working into a working out or to sports, things like that, that can be really important too because you don't want to put a stress and strain on your body that gets in the way of what you're trying to accomplish there as well. But it's a good practice um, for whatever you're doing and for your daily life that can be really helpful. So it's... Uh, Nice to think about, kind of think it through a little bit. Maybe look at the food on your plate before you eat it. Sometimes you can tell right away. You look at it and you're like, wow, that looks good, but I'm not going to feel great after I eat this. Or it's going to make me feel too full. Or it's going to make me feel slow. Or it's going to stop me up a little bit. Or um, do the opposite and move things through you too quickly. So think about that a little bit. It's one of the food steps. And these steps are all meant to be kind of thought through. And after you get a practice of it, once you get the habit of looking at it, You'll start to change naturally without even having to like mentally think through the steps. So eventually the steps start to do you and you won't even think about it much and pretty soon you'll be looking for other things rather than the things that slow you down or make you feel bloated or full or overly dense sometimes, like just heavy and you don't want to do anything. So as you work through the steps, play with them and practice them and have some fun with them and eventually this will make more sense to you. And then one of the big goals of all this stuff about food, like we tend to think of his diet as a way to lose weight or stay lean, but what is a bigger thing, at least in my opinion, is the ability to feel strong, the ability to think well, to feel good, to feel vital, and all those things, and what you eat makes a big impact on that, and that'll determine a lot about how much life you're able to get out of your life, because that's key. If you don't feel good, um, life can really suck, and I've been there, and I think a lot of people probably have, and that's one of the best things about retooling your diet, not necessarily eating things that'll just make you lose weight, because a lot of people get stuck on that weight loss and then gain weight and weight loss and then gain weight and they struggle and they kind of do some interesting damage to themselves over time. But take your time with it. If it takes a while, it takes a year to make a big change that you can hold on to for the rest of your life, then that's wonderful. I know a lot of people want super quick results, but that's a good way to do it is take some time, think about how you feel, think about how vital you feel and, and what kind of life you're leading and how your food helps or diminishes from that. So I hope you got something out of this. This is step six. Eat foods that assist digestion, assimilation, elimination, and movement. Book two will be out soon on September 2nd, 2021. Uh, brain, why do you trouble me so much? Bit of a theme we got going on here. So I hope you look out for that too. And check out my merch store at nitalitymerch.com. There's some cool things that are meant to inspire you when you wear it and the people you, that you're around. So hopefully you can get something out of that as well. All right. Stay vital, my friends.